What's more important here, your life and your rights? Or do you want to just keep chasing money and hurt the credibility if we ever have to go to trial? Lots of big choices ahead for now disgraced rapper P. Diddy, who in the wake of some pretty serious allegations now faces isolation in the business world. They probably just don't want to be guilt by association. People would say, I'm not going to support somebody who did all these horrible things to people. And what's more than reputational damage is the financial hit he's likely seeing. So this is going to be a very expensive case to defend. We're taking a look at Diddy's current business dealings, the professional relationships that have been shattered, the celebrities speaking out and keeping quiet, and what's next for Diddy. So I think people are just trying to take a step back before they take a step forward to see what direction they should go. Before we look into Diddy's future, we have to take a look at his past. Now 54 years old, Sean Combs is known by many different names, from Diddy to Puffy or Puff Daddy. He rose to fame in the 90s as a rapper, eventually a label executive and business entrepreneur. But things changed for him last November when Cassandra Ventura, known publicly as the singer Cassie, filed a bombshell civil lawsuit against Diddy, alleging he abused her for years. Cassie accused Diddy of raping her, physically assaulting her, forcing her to have sex with prostitutes, and even recording it. The civil suit was settled just one day after it was filed, but the damage was done. Multiple other women filed suits late last year, laying out similar allegations of being drugged, raped, and recorded. Then in February, another bombshell lawsuit filed by Rodney Jones, known as Lil Rod. He produced several albums on Diddy's latest album, and he accused Diddy of all the same things and then some alleging Diddy is the kingpin in a sex trafficking empire. Then on March 25th, federal search warrants were issued at two of Diddy's properties. They were also searched, but so far, we haven't seen any charges against him. I asked criminal defense attorney Mike Korbanix about this. Do you think that criminal charges are on the way? Well, I couldn't guarantee it, but when you're this far, when you're getting search warrants, things of that nature, it appears that with every time the government takes another step in their investigation, they're getting closer to the end and you're getting closer to having charges filed against you. Um, that's sounding like I have a presumption of guilt as opposed to the presumption of innocence, but during the investigation, that's what occurs and that's how they put it together. But even though no criminal charges have been filed, Diddy has seen some major fallout since the federal raids, and even prior to that, when the first allegations broke. To start, Diddy himself cut ties with multiple businesses since Cassie's allegations last November. First, there's Revolt TV that Diddy helped co-found all the way back in 2013. It's a multimedia platform that, according to its website, is the space for the unapologetic, authoritative voice of hip-hop culture, which includes rap and R&B music and social justice news. After Cassie's lawsuit dropped, Diddy stepped away as CEO of the company, and just one day after the federal raid, sold off all his shares to an anonymous new owner. Then there's Combs Wine and Spirits that partnered with multiple alcohols, including Diego's Ciroc Vodka and Delian Tequila. Diddy had handled marketing for both products since 2013 and 2014, respectively, and at one point held 50% stake in the products, but all that changed after the allegations broke. A joint statement to Essence magazine reads, quote, Sean Combs and Diego have now agreed to resolve all disputes between them. Mr. Combs has withdrawn all of his allegations about Diego and will voluntarily dismiss his lawsuits against Diego with prejudice. Diego and Mr. Combs have no ongoing business relationship, either with respect to Ciroc Vodka or Delian Tequila, which Diego now solely owns. And since these allegations have come forward, he has taken a step away from several of them, stepped down as CEO from one, for instance, or kind of cut ties with others. So why would he take a step away from his own businesses that he helped found? Well, there could be many reasons, and I don't think any of them are implications of guilt. It may be certain things that he's doing to protect his businesses, not have them damaged by his reputation. And that's not admission that he thinks he did anything wrong or he's guilty. He's presumed innocence. He's got a presumption of innocence, which is what I'm basing my answers on, because he is presumed innocent but he may be worried about the reputation that's out there and think it's best to step back, 
let things settle and see exactly where this is going. And while Diddy stepped back from several ventures, other companies distanced themselves from him. Back in 2021, Diddy founded Empire Global. According to its website, it's an e-commerce digital marketplace promoting Black-owned businesses. It's similar to Amazon Prime, where users pay a monthly subscription fee and then have access to the platform that works with some 160 companies. But in the wake of the allegations against Diddy, 18 companies have cut ties with Empire Global, including Surrey, a skincare company, Nudie System that sells undergarments, and House of Takura, a high-end fashion company. Then there's Capital Preparatory Harlem, a New York charter school Diddy co-founded. They cut ties with Diddy back in November after Cassie's allegations came to light. Co-founder Steve Perry said in a statement, quote, Following a comprehensive evaluation, a decision has been made to end the partnership between Capital Preparatory Schools and Sean Combs. While this decision was not made lightly, we firmly believe it is in the best interest of our organization's health and future. On the music side of things, Sal Exco that previously managed Diddy no longer lists him as an artist. I have a similar question for other businesses who have specifically cut ties with Diddy. So he has stepped away from several and then others have stepped away from him after the allegations were revealed. They said, we don't want anything to do with Diddy because these are some pretty serious accusations. Is that a similar reason why they may have taken a step back? Absolutely. They probably just don't want to be guilt by association or look like if, if, and at the end of this traveling situation that he gets found guilty then they would say that, you know, we don't want to have that to come our way. And until things are settled, we'd rather step back than take any position one way or another. Let's stay neutral and move on. On top of this, Hulu apparently cut ties with Diddy as well. A reality show titled Diddy Plus 7 was set to air on the streaming service, featuring life with Diddy and his seven kids. But after the allegations broke, Hulu canned the show. I have to wonder about that because I know in shows like that, there are oftentimes contracts. Is it possible that Diddy could fight this, his TV show being dropped? Well, he could. Um, you, it's very difficult because you'd have to look at the contracts because contracts sometimes are very specific as to what your rights are and what they're not and when you can pull out of a situation and when you cannot. But once again, I think he's a strong argument with I'm presumed innocent. And I don't understand why you're pulling out of this because we have a contract, but it's difficult to get into the specifics without seeing the actual contract. While Diddy has seen a breakup from several companies, he's still involved with some. That includes Aqua Hydrate, a beverage company that Diddy serves as a board member and investor for. He's also still involved with Sean John, a fashion and lifestyle brand that Diddy founded back in 1998. And then there's Bad Boy Records. One of the companies that Diddy has not stepped away from is Bad Boy Records that he founded back in the 90s and has produced many different artists, including more recently Machine Gun Kelly. Back in the day, Biggie Smalls has worked with Mary J. Blige. A lot of A-list celebrities he has not stepped away from. But could these allegations damage the future of Bad Boy Records? Absolutely. Um, the allegations could because people would say, I'm not gonna support somebody who did all these horrible things to people, and I'm not gonna support a person who uses their powerful position to do that and to hurt other people and take advantage of other people if that is proven at a trial. I have to wonder in all of this whether Diddy is seeing any financial losses from all of these businesses that he has multiple different ventures and now a lot of major changes in the past probably six months. Is it possible that his bank account is hurting? Absolutely. It, it, it absolutely does. Not only because of this is, but I am sure he has retained counsel and is, has lawyers and defense lawyers always do our own investigation. So we have to hire private investigators. The government has the police come who are paid by a salary, but you need private investigators on the defense side. And that comes out of pocket. And also the fact is just based on the the search warrants that were issued, they're in two different states. So this is going to be a very expensive case to defend just on the travel time alone, when investigators have to go from Florida to see what happened down there and then have to go to California to see what happened there. That's a lot of time and a lot of money that goes into that. And they're probably going to need a huge staff. 
So do you think that these allegations could affect future business dealings? So not just the companies that he had already founded, but anything in the future, is it possible that this could hinder his future career? Yeah, I believe it. I believe it could um, because of the fact that people will have their own opinions, not based on legal boundaries of what you have to do to have that opinion. But as regular people, they could just say, I am not comfortable here. I, even though he was in charge, I don't believe it. So yeah, it could, it could hurt him a lot in the future. We could also see if P. Diddy does something to put himself back on track to say this was wrong and I'll show you it was wrong and then rebuilds himself. I mean, he built himself the first time. Nobody says he's not capable of rebuilding himself if these charges don't stick. Witness the lies. I didn't lie to you on that polygraph, I promise. The cover-ups. I could see his brain on his... The moments they confessed. I grabbed one of the kitchen knives. I outrageous police interrogations i know i forgot the head i want the head you have to see to believe oh my god law and crime interrogations subscribe today just a reminder that no criminal charges have been filed against diddy but even still we've seen some celebrities distance themselves from him first there's ashton kutcher whose relationship with diddy goes back to the early aughts According to a source that spoke to the Daily Mail, regardless of Ashton's long history with him, he has distanced himself from Diddy since Cassie Ventura's lawsuit, and even more so in the wake of the new ones. Mila, Ashton's wife, will not let Ashton be in any sort of contact. After these allegations broke, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes deleted several of his tweets referencing Diddy. Both tweets date back to 2014, when Mahomes was just in college. One tweet read, quote, yeah, P. Diddy, and the other tagged a friend before writing him, happy birthday, P. Diddy, hashtag fam. Mahomes hasn't spoken publicly about Diddy, and neither have some of Diddy's closest friends. That's people like his ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez, who was actually mentioned in Lil Rod's lawsuit. We haven't heard from Usher or Lil Kim either. And Naomi Campbell, who's been friends with Diddy for years and recently threw him a birthday party, scrubbed her Instagram of Diddy pics and any evidence of that party. Several other people have kind of taken a step away from Diddy. They haven't commented on it, but they're not really in support of him either. Why do you think that may be that these celebrities are staying quiet on all this? Well, I think it's probably because they are celebrities. Um, this is being put over the media, all aspects of the media, whether it's Instagram or television or in a newspaper, like an old school newspaper they actually read, people are discussing it and it's getting out there and it's traveling. And I think some people don't wanna have their, their reputation damage by saying, well, if you hung out with them, you must have been doing stuff with them and you must know stuff about it. So I think people are just trying to take a step back before they take a step forward to see what direction they should go. We have so many people who are stepping back from Diddy, from celebrities to business associates and partners without any charges filed. Is it overkill for what they're doing, stepping away and no longer working with him? That's a difficult question to answer. Uh, and it's a difficult question to answer because not everybody knows what the motivation is of people who are stepping away. People could be stepping away for another reason and just using this as an excuse to get out of something they weren't happy with before and doing things of that nature. So it's, it's difficult. And like you said, it, it, it's very unusual when a case takes this long when you hear about it. But most of the cases we really hear about are state cases where people are arrested and the charges are done. Federal cases is not unusual for years to go on of investigation. I mean, we've witnessed it in political things. Um, we're seeing it with celebrities where you hear about the investigation and it's like quiet for a couple months, then everything happens for a couple months, then it's quiet again. So it's just very difficult as to where they're going. Because another thing could be, you know, just because something's taking long doesn't mean he's guilty. It could mean they're having trouble finding evidence and that their investigation is not going as smoothly as they thought it was, and it's taking more time. So there's both sides to all those arguments without more facts. But there are some who are voicing their opinions. One celebrity who we know has been outspoken is 50 Cent, and he's actually come out and said things against P. Diddy. He's referenced the R. Kelly documentary from a couple years ago that came out ahead of R. Kelly's federal trial. 
And he has said he now wants to do a similar documentary that he is funding about P. Diddy and the allegations against him. Now, we know that the documentary in the R. Kelly case was pretty damning for R. Kelly. Could the same thing happen for P. Diddy? Yeah, absolutely. It could happen that way, provided that everything in that documentary is, in fact, substantiated in some way. And it doesn't come across like it's a, some sort of reputation fight as opposed to a legal analysis of whether or not something happened. Is it possible that any of these celebrities who are known to be friends with Diddy or associates like Ashton Kutcher or Jennifer Lopez, who was actually mentioned in a lawsuit, that they could have been interviewed by federal investigators? Oh, that absolutely could have happened. I mean, I couldn't tell you whether it definitely happened or not, but if they were, they probably are maintaining their confidentiality because they're concerned, but they also have obligations. If, if they're not being accused and they have factual information and they're subpoenaed and under the law they have to speak and there's no Fifth Amendment right where they can incriminate themselves, then yes, they would be speaking to the government. We still can't confirm that the federal investigation and raids at Diddy's home were specifically targeted at him, but we can use reasonable inferences that charges could be coming down the pipeline. If that does happen, Mike expects a long road ahead and a busy set of time for his defense attorneys. What do you think is going on behind closed doors with Diddy and his defense attorneys at this point? Well, basically it's very, it's, it's, it's pretty much at this point in time, you're sitting with your client and you're trying to see what went on because every time you speak to your client, that's attorney client privilege. That's not something that the government can get out from you. It's not something they could tape while you're, unless of course you could never have attorney client privilege if you're doing something illegal. But as far as in the regular scheme of things is basically your client has to help you get the information because also the rules of discovery are different in federal courts than many state courts. They're not obligated to give it to you until very close to trial. So you really have to prepare your own defense on thinking of what the information is you can get. And then hopefully that matches with what they're coming at you with. Since it's a federal case, it's not going to be as quick as people anticipate because of the fact that the government doesn't have to give you the discovery right away in the federal case. It's not like, you know, in the state case where you get an indictment and things like that. So that's gonna cause delays because as you're getting them, as the defense is getting it, they may have to say to the court, hey, wait a minute, this, this took them three years to find. I need a little more than a month or two to get this together and prepare my defense. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it moves at, at time-wise. I mean, if we're looking at the investigation leading up to this potential future federal trial, then jury selection, but then the trial, I mean, that could be weeks or months too, based on all of these allegations, the witnesses. So do you think that that would be lengthy as well? Yes, and I think it may be lengthy. I mean, it might be even more lengthy than we think because there's no assurance that this is just involving P. Diddy. This could be an investigation where as they go along, they're going to find, it's very unusual that when you find someone in a huge federal case where there's money involved, they talk about all these distributions, things of that nature, where other people aren't going to get charged. And that can make it a multi-defendant case. And a multi-defendant case could take months and years, especially at the federal level. So what does Diddy have to say about all this? For the federal raids, Diddy's team calls it a, quote, gross overuse of military level force, saying there's no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. In response to Lil Rod's lawsuit, Diddy's team says in part, quote, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. All we've heard from Diddy himself is in this statement posted to his social media in 2023, quote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. 
Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. And right now we've only heard from him back in December of last year. He basically said enough is enough. These allegations are false. I will prove this, etc. But since then in 2024, we haven't heard from him once about these allegations. Is there any reason you can think of that he's kind of keeping quiet about all this? Well, if I was his lawyer, you wouldn't hear from him either. Because quite frankly, you've got to say what's more important here, your life and your rights, or do you want to just keep chasing money and hurt the credibility if we ever have to go to trial? So, you know, there's that Fifth Amendment right of silence is something that needs to be. Um, done to protect your client. I don't believe it's good when lawyers use that to promote themselves because they're representing someone. You know, you have to protect your client's rights. And obviously the lawyers who are representing him are conscious of that and told him to be quiet till we resolve this. But could all this be the end of Diddy as we once knew him? Do you think his reputation could ever recover from this? Well, I, I believe if he's found innocent, it could, it could come back. But, you know, speaking as a lawyer, I'm saying that. Speaking as a person, not that lawyers aren't persons, but I think it's be very difficult because yeah, a lot of people are gonna doubt. It's a lot of things that everybody's hearing about it every day. People are following it. So it's it, it at the end of the day, practically, I would think just based on society, it's gonna be damaging to him. Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.